In our Encyclopedia of Evil, we cover a wide range of demons, but not all demons are created equal. In our last video, we introduced Asmodeus, who happens to represent one of the deadly sins. However, the seven princes of hell require special attention as they also represent the seven deadly sins, which is why we've dedicated a whole video to this topic. In the world of demonology, the seven princes of hell stand out as the embodiment of sin, temptation, and darkness. These infamous beings, classified by Peter Binsfeld and referenced in Kahl and Plancy's Dictionnaire Infernal, have captivated the minds of scholars, artists, and writers for centuries. Each prince represents a deadly sin, weaving their influence through the threads of human history. As we delve into their origins and the evolution of their stories, we will explore their roles in literature and art, revealing how they have been both feared and revered over time. Peter Binsfeld, a German bishop and religious scholar, played a crucial role in shaping the concept of the Seven Princes of Hell. Living during the chaotic period of witch trials in the late 16th century, Binsfeld published a list of demons that he believed to be the princes or lords of hell. He tied each demon to one of the seven deadly sins, emphasizing the idea that these sins were not merely vices but manifestations of demonic influence. Colin Plancy, a French occultist and writer, further popularized the seven princes of hell through his book Dictionnaire Infernal. First published in 1818, the book contains detailed descriptions of various demons, including the seven princes, and illustrations of their grotesque forms. The work of Binsfeld and Plancy laid the foundation for the modern understanding of these demonic entities and their roles in shaping human behavior. Lucifer, the embodiment of pride, is perhaps the most well-known of the seven princes of hell. His tale originates from Christian and Jewish mythology, where he is portrayed as a fallen angel, cast out of heaven due to his arrogance and desire to usurp God's throne. Throughout history, Lucifer's story has evolved and been depicted in various forms of literature and art. John Milton's Paradise Lost portrays him as a complex, tragic figure who challenges the authority of God. In contrast, Dante Alighieri's Inferno shows him as a grotesque, monstrous being, frozen in the icy depths of hell. In visual art, Lucifer has been depicted in numerous ways, from the beautiful, angelic figure with wings to a horned, demonic creature. His ever-changing portrayal reflects humanity's fascination with the concept of pride and its destructive consequences. As the embodiment of this sin, Lucifer continues to hold a prominent place in the annals of demonology and popular culture. Mammon, representing the sin of greed, has his roots in both Christian and Jewish traditions. The term mammon itself is derived from the Aramaic word for wealth or riches. In the Bible, mammon is not described as a demon but rather as a concept, a symbol of the corrupting influence of material wealth. Over time, the idea of mammon evolved, and during the Middle Ages, he became personified as the demon of greed. This transformation can be seen in various works of art and literature of the period, where he is often depicted as a sinister figure haunting treasures or leading people astray with promises of wealth. In some depictions, Mammon is shown as a grotesque, obese creature, highlighting the excess and gluttony associated with the pursuit of material wealth. In other representations, he appears as a more cunning figure, subtly tempting individuals with the allure of riches. Mammon's evolution from a mere concept to a fully realized demonic entity demonstrates humanity's ongoing struggle with the temptation of greed and the moral consequences that accompany it. Asmodeus is a demon known for his association with lust and has a complex history in religious and cultural mythology. He is described as a powerful and cunning demon with a serpent-like tail and his name is derived from the Hebrew word Ashmedai, which means destroyer or wrath. Throughout history, Asmodeus has been portrayed in various forms of literature and art, 
from a crafty demon who can manipulate people's desires and passions to the king of demons in the Talmud. In art, Asmodeus is often depicted as a seductive and alluring figure, highlighting the power of lust and its ability to corrupt. Some visual representations show him with multiple aspects of lust and desire. His presence in literature and art serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of indulging in one's carnal desires. Asmodeus is also known for being a destroyer of marriages and is considered one of the most powerful demons in Jewish and Islamic tradition. In Christian tradition, he is often associated with the demon Beals above. In literature, he has been portrayed in various ways, from a tragic figure to a sadistic tormentor. The biblical book of Tobit tells the story of Asmodeus falling in love with a woman named Sarah and killing her seven husbands before being defeated by the archangel Raphael. In contemporary literature, Asmodeus continues to be a popular figure in horror and fantasy, often depicted as a cunning and manipulative demon who preys on the desires and weaknesses of humanity. Leviathan, the Prince of Envy has roots in ancient Near Eastern mythology and is prominently featured in the Hebrew Bible. Often depicted as a monstrous sea serpent or dragon, the Leviathan is a symbol of chaos and destruction. Over time, Leviathan's role evolved from a primordial sea monster to a demonic entity associated with envy. This transformation can be seen in various works of literature and art throughout the Middle Ages and beyond. In the Christian tradition, Leviathan is often portrayed as a demon who fuels envious feelings, causing discord and strife among people. In Dante Alighieri's Inferno, Leviathan is mentioned as a beast lurking in the depths of hell. Similarly, in John Milton's Paradise Lost, Leviathan is described as an enormous sea creature that tempts humankind with envy and jealousy. In visual art, Leviathan is often depicted as a massive, serpent-like creature, embodying the destructive power of envy. The evolution of Leviathan from a primordial beast to a demonic prince highlights the enduring fascination with envy and its capacity to cause harm and suffering. Beelzebub, the Prince of Gluttony, has a diverse background in religious and cultural mythology. Originating from the Canaanite god Baal, Beelzebub was demonized by the Israelites, and his name transformed into Baal-zebub, which means Lord of the Flies. In Christian demonology, Beelzebub became associated with gluttony, symbolizing humanity's unquenchable desire for consumption and excess. This transformation can be seen in various works of literature and art throughout history. In the apocryphal Acts of Pilate, Beelzebub is mentioned as one of Satan's chief advisors. In the medieval text Lantern of Light, he is portrayed as the chief of all demons, highlighting his importance in Christian demonology. In visual art, Beelzebub is often depicted as a monstrous, bloated figure or as a giant fly, emphasizing the connection with his name and the consequences of overindulgence. The evolution of Beelzebub from a pagan deity to a demonic prince representing gluttony demonstrates humanity's enduring fascination with sin and vice, as well as the fluidity of religious and cultural interpretations over time. Satan, the Prince of Wrath, has a multifaceted history in religious and cultural mythology. The term Satan is derived from the Hebrew word Satan, which means adversary or opponent. In the Hebrew Bible, Satan is not necessarily a specific entity but rather a general term for any adversarial force or figure. Over time, Satan became a distinct character in religious texts and stories. In the New Testament, he is portrayed as a tempter and deceiver, leading humanity away from God's path. As the embodiment of wrath in the context of the seven princes of hell, Satan represents the destructive power of anger and hatred. In literature and art, Satan has been depicted in various forms. In John Milton's Paradise Lost, he is a charismatic, tragic figure who leads a rebellion against God. In contrast, Dante Alighieri's Inferno portrays Satan as a grotesque, monstrous being, trapped in ice at the center of hell. 
Visual representations of Satan range from the familiar horned, red-skinned figure to more abstract, sinister depictions. Satan's evolution from a general term for an adversary to a specific demonic entity demonstrates the complex and ever-changing relationship between humanity and the concept of wrath and its destructive consequences. Belphegor, the Prince of Sloth, has a somewhat obscure history in religious and cultural mythology. His name is believed to have been derived from the Moab by god Baal Peor, who was later demonized by the Hebrews. Belphegor is often associated with the sin of sloth, embodying the dangers of laziness and indifference. Throughout history, Belphegor has been portrayed in various forms of literature and art. In some descriptions, he is a demon who tempts people with the allure of wealth and power, encouraging them to take the path of least resistance. In others, he is depicted as a master of manipulation and deceit, exploiting human weaknesses for his own gain. In visual art, Belphegor is often portrayed as a demonic figure with an eerie, unsettling appearance. Some representations depict him as a hideous, monstrous creature, while others portray him as a more refined, sophisticated figure, underlining the deceptive nature of sloth and its potential consequences. Belphegor's evolution from a pagan deity to a demonic prince serves as a testament to humanity's ongoing struggle with the temptation of sloth and the moral implications of choosing the easy path in life. In summary, the Seven Princes of Hell as classified by Peter Binsfeld and referenced in Colin Plancy's Diction Year Infernal, have captivated the minds of scholars, artists, and writers for centuries. Each prince represents a deadly sin, and their stories reveal how these vices have shaped human history. The ever-changing portrayals of these demonic figures in literature and art reflect our ongoing fascination with sin, temptation, in the darker aspects of human nature. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and mythology of the Seven Princes of Hell. Until next time, Dark Discovery Community, keep exploring the mysteries that lurk in the shadows.